build a pattern is like following a recipe to make a complex dish. Instead of making the dish all at once, you follow the steps one by one, like preparing ingredients, cooking and then serving. In programming, the builder pattern breaks down the creation of a complicated object into smaller steps so you can easily change or customize each step. This way you can use the same recipe or process to create different variations of the dish or object without changing the overall method. So this is the example we will be creating in this tutorial. The builder pattern will be populating this list with different types of books, default book list or a custom book list. So this is the tutorial for today. To call the methods from the builder to populate your list, open the content view and type in the following. At state, private bar books equals book list. dot default book list. The reason why we're calling the default book list function is because we want the sets of records to first be retrieved from the default book list. Which is here. So when the user clicks on the default book list button these will be the first records that are retrieved and populated within our list. We can delete line 15. Then type in navigation view V stack and now we will define our list list books dot data Booking So now we're inside our closure, we create our H stack The next thing we need to do is to add our image book dot image name dot resizable dot frame with 80 height 120 dot corner radius is 8, just to make the book edges curvy. You can see there's a curve on each of the corners. The next thing we need to do is to add our name, the book name, 
to do that, we have to create another V stack. Alignment, leading, spacing, five, text, book.name. dot font dot title dot font weight and you can see the preview is very slow because my MacBook is very slow at the moment. That's why a lot of the times I don't use the preview. Next thing we need to do is to add the author's name, book.author. Dot font. Subheadline. And then we need a spacer. Next thing we need to do is to add the price, book dot price, font, headline, dot foreground color, dot orange. After line 38, we just need to add a vertical padding, dot vertical five. The next thing we need to do is to add our buttons. And uh, navigation bar title, although we don't really need a navigation bar title, but I'll just add it. So we add our navigation title after lines 44 dot navigation title. I mean, navigation bar title. Book list. Display mode. Large. dot list style plain list style the purpose of having a plain list style is just so that the list has a plainer simpler look The next thing we need to do is to add our buttons so that we can select the different types of books that includes default book list or custom book list. So to create our buttons we need another H stack, horizontal stack, button, action, books equals Book list dot default book list 
For that button, we need a caption. The caption for that text will be report book list dot font title two dot padding background the background color is green the foreground color which is the color of the text that will be white dot white corner radius 10 dot frame max width infinity and it should be max width infinity and the purpose of using infinity for max width is to make sure that the two buttons are the same size same height and width it should be dot infinity so there should be a full stop there and then infinity so now we create our next button. So we can just copy and paste the previous button that we just done. Paste it anywhere after line 61. And then we want to call our custom book list function. For the caption, we want to call it custom book list. Background color, that should be orange. I think I've forgotten something. After line 61, we need to add some padding to the default book list button and also some padding to the custom book list button just to remove the spaces between here. And then now, I will run it. So by default, the content view will display the default book list buttons within the list. But if I click on the custom button, then you will see that the data had been retrieved from the book list builder for the custom button records, which is here. And it only retrieves this record here, Fahrenheit. And the reason why is because it's being reset on this line. 
So if I take out the reset method, then you will see that all of the books for the custom book list will be populated. So the custom book list will include three books instead of one book that, that it had originally. So now I will just rerun the application. Now, I will click on custom book list and you will see three books populated as you can see. Because I didn't reset the array. That's what we've done in the previous tutorial. The reset method resets the array. So this is just a short example how to use the builder pattern within Swift and also using a bit of Swift UI as well for the UI. Thank you for joining us. If you found this tutorial helpful, please comment, like and subscribe. See you next week.